Now that all the gears uh, and their teeth have been cut to size, the next um, setup we have to go through is to determine the center to center distance between um, any two gears in the orrery that have to be aligned. I, um, I have a diagram here that you can take a look at and essentially the way the orrery works is there are um, a stack of gears on a center shaft um, and this um, is the same diameter as the center, it's actually a piece of the center shaft. Um, and then there are gears that are in pairs that are off the center shaft. And the gears from the center shaft drive the gears that are off to the side. Uh, and it's a, it's a cascade, actually the top gear in the entire orrery is the one that is um, being driven, and that one drives each gear down the chain going from the center drive out, down, back in, and so on until you get to the bottom. So what I've done here is I have aligned my mill, because I'm going to use the mill actually to do the measuring, but I've, I've made a very simple you know, board here. It's just a piece of MDF and I've drilled some holes in it, but um, like I said, this is the um, a piece of the center shaft and what we're going to do is just take one of the center gears put it on here um, I have aligned the X and Y axis so that this point is 0, 0 in, in X and Y and now using the using the mill I am just going to come over, now this gear has to mesh with this one. So, I'm just going to um, bring this down. And now, bring the two gears together and the objective now is to figure out so you want to have as little friction as possible between the gears because like I said we have a chain of 30 gears driving each other so the trick now is just to figure out where that point is center to center distance and it's just done by feel here to determine where I have um, you know a good mesh between the teeth but a minimum amount of friction and once I have that point so now if we look up at the uh, at the DRO settings um, from the mill we can see that X has now moved 1.3906 um, away from the center point so that actually ends up being the exact distance center to center that these two gears have to now have an arm constructed for that will hold them at that distance. Now I'm going to repeat this process for every gear pair in the in, in the orrery and then start building arms um, but as you can see I'm using the mill to do the measuring for me and uh, obviously it's very accurate. This arrangement is much more representative of the, uh, the way the actual orrery works so I thought I'd let you see what this is about but um, like I said there are always going to be two gears on the main shaft that are driving two more gears on uh, one of the offset shafts. They'll be separated by uh, Teflon bearings. So in this setup um, I've adjusted this such that if you can see that um, so that all of the gears are meshing exactly as they would 
when the orrery is assembled. And um, I mean, this is just a better example of what I was just showing you a moment ago, but um, this is actually how it will look on the orrery. So the distance from here to here, the mill is telling me is 1.413 inches. Um, so I'm going to jot that down and then uh, design an arm that gives me those center points. Uh, but these gears are, are moving very freely, um, which is exactly what we're looking for.